The Rangers season starts on Wednesday. Yesterday, we had some very good news about a Mika Zibanejad contract extension. Eight years at $8.5 million on the cap per season. Now, I know a lot of you guys complain about the term. Do I like that this contract will be paying him eight and a half until 37 years old? I'm not thrilled about it, but you have to give a little as a team for you to retain that player in their prime. And Zabanajad's in his prime. This is Mika Zabanajad's big contract that he plays for. And the Rangers were able to give it to him at only eight and a half million dollars a season. Now I know you might be saying to yourself, you want to play general manager, I always do. You're trying to think down the road, oh no, Adam Fox needs to be extended. All these young players need to be extended. Don't think about it too much yet. Yet. I'm not going to be saying you shouldn't be thinking about it because, you know, it's definitely in the back of your mind, but don't read into it too much yet. Courtesy of CapFriendly.com, these are some of the centers that currently surround Mika Zibanejad and their age with a cap hit. You see Sebastian Ajo coming in at just under Zibanejad, however, much younger. But now you're looking at a guy like Tyler Sagan, who hasn't been Tyler Sagan in a few seasons now. He's getting almost paid $10 million a season. Kopitar is currently declining $10 million a season. The Florida Panthers just signed Alexander Barkov, 26 years old, $10 million a season. $8.5 million a season. You're paying Panarin $11.5. Again, the Kreider situation, you don't want to think too much into the future, but was the Kreider contract a good contract for the Rangers to sign? I don't know. It's a banish at an $8.5 million. It locks up your number one center. I want to take some questions from you guys. We had a question from Matt. My question with Mika's eight-year deal and Kreider's seven-year deal, are the Rangers going to be in cap hell when the kids need to be signed? I don't think they're going to be in cap hell. They're going to have some money next season. If you go on capfriendly.com, it's a great website. You can actually see how much money they will have next year and the year after without those guys being re-signed. That's why money comes off. The guys aren't being re-signed. But if you look at the cap friendly and see next year, they have some money left. And it's not like these guys are going to have huge lucrative extensions aside from Adam Fox. But they're not going to be in cap hell. They're okay right now. But like I said before, it is fun to think what's going to happen. It's also scary to think what's going to happen. Tony D, do you like the Mika extension? I do. You got your number one center at $8.5 million for what he can do? Absolutely. Are the Rangers still in on Jack Eichel? I didn't want them to be in the first place. And then there was a part of me that, yeah, you know what? Kind of get him. But now that you're signing Zibanejad, and I reiterated this in the Jack Eichel video I posted about a month, month and a half ago when all this stuff started coming out, I said you won't be able to re-sign Mika Zibanejad if you do get Jack Eichel. Because now you have your $10 million center. However, it's a million and a half cheaper. So I think they're out on Eichel, but people still say... They're not out on Eichel until he gets traded somewhere else. So, who knows, Tony? NHL fan gamer, how much of a gamble do you think Mika's extension is? It's a gamble with every contract an NHL player signs. It's a gamble with every organization that gives out a contract. I think it's a gamble, absolutely. Eight and a half million dollars is a lot of money. Eight years is a long time. I'll be 30 years old when that contract comes off the official books. It's a gamble. I mean, it is what it is. It's a business, though. And Mika's advantage ad is... Happy to be back in New York. He's happy to stay in New York. So, it's a gamble. I'm not going to say it's not a gamble, but I like it. Let me know what you guys think about the Mika Zibanejad contract extension. Leave a like down below if you did enjoy this video. I appreciate you guys so much. Wednesday, pregame, 6 o'clock, 6.15 maybe. Depends on the time I get home from work. Rangers reaction video against the Capitals, and then a post game right here on the channel. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.